and some cocaine. Fucking crack whore. That's what a crack whore is. A bitch is who sucks cock for crack. <laughs> Look at this bitch you can see she should oh, yeah. have what she has on her. Oh hell no. Don't even look at her. No. But that's the style. Nasty. His seed is spoiled and his brother and his neighbors and he is not. Leave thy fatherless children. I will preserve them alive and let thy widows trust in me. For thus said the Lord, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk it. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. That brings to mind. Hey, they're Temptation. drinking that cup. What's that cup? You know what I'm saying? That cup is talking about slavery. I'm talking yeah, I like about that cup. I like that cup. That cup that they forced down our throats. With the dregs. Yeah, here we go. Oh. Lamentation 4 and 21. Oh, yeah. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. It's funny how it talks about Esau again in this scripture. Mm -hmm. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. So that, that cup, that, they, they're going, all these rich bastards you see right now, all these faggots. It's ruling over your ass, starting with the so-called Jew. That's Ooh. the chief house. See, I can't let them ever get away. I'm going to bring that up every time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The so-called Jew, that's the chief house of Esau. They're, uh, they're uh, Amalekites. They're Edomites from the tribe of Amalek. What well, shit? Revelation. In this, the book of Deuteronomy says that we uh, the Lord will always have enmity against Amalek. Yeah. Yeah, but see, you see, they living all good. They live up in Bexley. Like, in here in Columbus, the main Jew spot in Columbus is Bexley. Because it don't matter what city you go to, the Jews always live in the same place. What's Let me that? read this real quick. I'll go I got ahead. something that's going to bug you out. I'll go ahead. Because this is Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Right, going, talking about the so-called Jew over there in the state of Israel, okay, they're over there uh, blowing up Palestinians. Was well, you know, fuck the Palestinians too. They deserve what they getting. Every bit of. Ain't nobody innocent. Even though you ain't supposed to be going around blowing up women and children, that's kind of disturbing. But uh. They get away with it. Bro. But yeah, the so-called Jew, they control the government. They control the United States. They control. They own all the banks. This is part of the town of somebody. Oh yeah. Check this out. This is going to be bug you out. Oh, you, you better read something out of the, the Jews' holy book. I'm going to start. This is um Cause strange and vile teachings of the Jewish Talmud. Oh, uh, so the so-called Jew does not believe in the Bible. He believes in the Talmud. The Talmud. What's up, 33? You a Freemason? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you are a Freemason, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We're at number 33. Right, right. <laughs> um, to, to, he said he's a Freemason. Flesh, a Jew should bring a dust and a shadow over property. Hold on a second. Hold up a minute. That's, Satan had to come right on time. Yep, on time. As soon as you started bringing it out, <laughs> goddamn helicopter come by. Wow. Or an airplane, boat. It's loud too. Y'all know America's gonna be destroyed? The Most High gonna destroy America by fire. He looking like the, uh, you look like the Arabian version of the Fonzie. The Fonz, <laughs> Henry Winkler. <laughs> the Fonz. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Arabian version. Go. But he is Henry Winkler is a so-called Jew. Man, this is some weird shit. Man. Oh, go ahead. I mean, weird shit, man. Hey, to heal his flesh, a Jew should. This is uh. It's out of Talmud. Uh, this is the, out of the book. The this is part I, of. I it, can't see it, shit it, on it. It names the books. Yeah. The part of the Talmud. Yeah, because the Talmud is like a volume of books. Mm -hmm. It's not just one book. Right. It's like volumes upon volumes. And it's not a holy book. No, it has. This is unholy. Hey, to heal his flesh, a Jew should bring dust from the shadow of a private and outdoor toilet <laughs> and knead it with honey and eat it. <laughs> man, this is in their book, man. They go eating it. And they eat, they eating doo doo pies. This is crazy, man. The law regulating the rule for how to urinate in a holy way. Oh, man. R. L. Lazar 
further state any man who owns no land, let me skip down some more. Um, a Jew may marry a girl as long as she is three years You hear that? Day the so-called Jew teaches you can marry girls when they're three years old. That's, that's in their so-called holy book, the Talmud. Mm -hmm, that's right. <laughs> Check this out. Baby, they're going to call us an anti-Semite. <laughs> You're an anti-Semite if you... These fools don't understand words. If you call someone a... Uh, uh, if you... If you discover that someone's a child molester, you're an anti-Semite and a racist. Mm -hmm. We exposed but, shit but, but they're mother, they're fucking sucking baby dicks and eating yeah. shit pies and right. raping three-year-old little girls. Right, right. I'll read that again, my fault. A Jew may marry a girl as long as she is three years and a day old. Three years and a day. Oh, now see, now, now if she's three years old, now you can test too young but three years in a day three years in a day what the fuck is that three shit three years in a fucking day only satan himself wrote this shit that's right a jew may have sex with a child as long as the child is less than nine years old yeah so the so-called jew yeah because they rape little boys just like vice remember that did you yeah. see that vice article yeah, yeah. Get, if y'all watching this video get get on google and just google vice Jewish bathhouses. Yeah, yeah. And, and an article will pop out, pop up about how the uh, vice reporters went up to this uh, Jew bathhouse and they witnessed uh, rabbis raping little That's boys. That's still up? Yeah, it's on Vice. Oh, ain't got deleted it, yet. It's not a video, it's an article. Right. Damn. I'm surprised this. I hope this won't get us to be. You know. Oh, because Vice be bringing out all kind of shit. Mm -hmm. You see, they made your boy Nathaniel look dumb as hell. They made Nathaniel oh, yeah, look yeah, stupid. Yeah, yeah. And they made him look like a hypocrite. They exposed him. Yeah, they really... Yeah, Vice did. They got him good. They made him look like the double-minded, unstable bastard that he is. Because, you know, Vice did a story on GMS. That'd probably be a good video. You know what I mean? Right. They probably end, up getting, they probably end up getting drunk together and have to destroy the tapes. Right. It'd be too... You know? <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Mishnah... A girl of the age of three years and one day may be, may be betrothed by intercourse. By betrothed by intercourse? At how old? I'm going to read again. Mishnah. A girl of the age of three years. Three and years one old. Day, and one day. And one day. Don't forget <laughs> that one day. <laughs> may be betrothed by intercourse if one was younger than this age. Intercourse with her is like putting a finger in the eye. A finger in the eye. The Gamora that follows expound on this mission. The fuck? So just think about all these little Jewish girls you see walking around. Well, so-called Jews. They're really right. Edomites. Yep, they're probably fucked. So their dad probably was the one that was raping them. Remember the boy just out here said he got a blowjob. Yeah. Yep. What's up, homie? Now this is going to bug you out, too. A woman who had intercourse with a beast with <laughs> a beast is eligible to marry a jewish priest yeah see, man, what? this is their talmud well man. that priest must be like alistair crowley because <laughs> right. alistair crowley look because alistair crowley said beast bestiality was necessary to summon them spirits up that's right because this uh alistair crowley he was famous for uh let 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 letting a goat fuck his girlfriend like a goat, a goat would be fucking his girl or his wife or whatever. And then as the goat busted a nut, he would slice, he would slice the goat's throat and kill it. And said he captured his spirit. That's how he captured the goat's spirit. That's the type of motherfucker, you can't just sit down and have a beer with that motherfucker. Man. But where do you think Alistair Crowley got that shit from? It sure is. Oh, it sure is. That's my own camera. But you know, Alistair Crowley, <laughs> I got it. He ain't touching this. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, she must be from Japan wearing a face mask. You know, in Japan, if anybody's ever sick, they wear those face masks. She got, she got uh, the SARS and Ebola. Either that or she don't want to get it. What's up, youngster? What's up, homie? Excuse me, why are you wearing the face mask? You got Ebola? Look at that. There you go. What's up, bro? Let me holler at you real quick. Let me ask you a question. Is that you gonna be on TV? You gonna be on YouTube? It's cool. what's, what's, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I was gonna ask you a question. You know who the so-called Jews are? 
you know who the Jews are? You're not a Jew, are you? No. Where are you from? I'm from Youngstown, Ohio. Yeah, because I don't like Jews. You know, oh, you, know, not, you know, you know that we just reading out their holy book. What what book is the Jews holy oh, book? Get yeah, get it out. Well, what what book is their book? Do you know what book they use? Uh, I can tell you they don't use the Bible as many will believe. Yeah, they use their Bible. Well, they have a book. But they don't have a Bible. They have some, not a Bible. They have something called a Talmud. You ever heard of that? Yeah. And then the Talmud commands them, like, when a little Jewish boy is circumcised. The Bible tells us to get circumcised. But when, when, when them devils get circumcised, they have a, a, a rabbi circumcise the baby in front of a whole crowd of people, then he sucks the blood out the baby's penis. That's right. And that's in their holy book. They, and they have laws in their holy book with the Talmud that says that it's okay to have sex with what boys as long as they're under nine years old. Read, read it for him, bro. You know, right there. I just read, I read it out loud for him. Or, this is the, the sucking the penis. Oh, the sucking penis. the penis? I just got founded on this. Yeah, you know, the so-called Jew controls the United States government. You can see sucking the penis right there. You see the baby screaming in horror? Yeah. yeah. Well, was, you can Google, you get on Google, type in Jew rabbi sucks baby penis. Or New York baby stricken with herpes. Yeah, and rabbi right. Rabbi their penis during Jewish ritual. But hold up, you know the so-called Jew, you know they control the government? They control Hollywood? Don't you know all Hollywood movies are all made by Jews, right? Are you guys like a Jew hate group or something? Yes, we are. Well, no, actually, we're the real Jews. They're not, you see? But you, there you go. See? There you go. He'd rather, you see that? He, he's a, he's a, take up for a pe uh, pedophilia. Where you coming from? Uh, no, it's called. Hanging out? Yeah, my cousin. Who's your cousin? Dude? What's his name? No, no, it's not him. It's somebody else. Oh, okay. Dave, he's at work. See, when we, you see that? See, that's this thing. You Look, there's this famous quote made by Voltaire. Everybody uses it. Uh, it said, the, I forget how it exactly goes. You should Google that quote. I don't even know how to spell that motherfucker's name. Voltaire quote. <laughs> he made a quote basically saying, to find out who is ruling over you, find out who you're not allowed to talk about. Makes sense. That, that's that's a paraphrasing. That's not exactly. Right, the, but it makes sense. Though. Yeah, if you want to find out who the rulers of the world are, and who's who your master is, find out the people you're not allowed to talk about. That's the Jew, the so-called Jew. You can't say shit about them. What happens? You see that dude? Because he's been so programmed. He, anything we said bad about a Jew, or anti-Semite, racist, gotta get out of here. Right. We gonna, I'm gonna go through it again since you here. Just we gonna read some of the shit out of their Talmud. Okay. What's up? Because we like making movies. We're teaching the Bible. The movies about what? The Bible, the truth. The truth of the Bible. Your band? You play, which one play? Guitar? Which one? Some devil crusty uh, music. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah. I play guitar too. He plays blues guitar too. I'm a beast on a guitar. Are you? Yes, I am. Beast type. I am like a, like a wild. Beast with horns. Like a ravening wolf. That's a guitar dog right there. That's shit that a bro your mind. Jimmy? Oh, that's my shirt. Bro, he makes some shit that blows your mind. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy Hendrix was an Israelite indeed. Right. Y'all probably, probably Israelites too. They just look like so-called white people, you know. What's an Israelite? An Israelite, that's the Lord's people. The chosen people. The Lord's people. Israel. Children of the most. Chosen by who? The most high. Who the hell is that? The, the heavenly father. So-called the Heavenly Father. You don't believe in the Lord? Never mind. What y'all think about the... There. What you kind of music do you play, bro? You see people Oh, I like punk. I like, uh, you, what you know about Gigi yeah. Allen? You hard. Okay. You stoned. Like oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You just say stupid all the time. You yeah. just act that way. Uh -huh. No, I'm, I'm, I'm well schooled in, uh, this is, this punkology. Is yeah, I'm pretty serious, too. I'm serious about being a fuck off. And right, I don't right. like you, too. Good, good, good. You scare me. Right, right. That, 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 that day's coming. You being scared, that day's fucking coming. You talking about you in a that, punk that rock. That day's coming, though. You see, that's a fool. That's a well, I was about to say this. They claim to be in a punk rock because punk rock's all about rebellion. And they're actually not, they're conformists. They're not rebellious. They're uh, rebels. They're not rebels. They're conformists. See, we're actually the true rebels. And we're the true punk rock stars. I'm for real. When you think about it. Who, who else out here is rebelling against a system like us, bro? 
Seriously. Coming out here talking shit, talking shit about this piece of shit world. Like all these faggot ass musicians, they claim that they're against the world and you know what I mean? But they're not. They're, all they care about is their self. Mm -hmm. all, all they care about is getting famous, bro. Yeah, she's a creep. She's a creeper. She's a creeper. She's good for one purpose. Right. Yeah, man, that's what kills me. These musicians, they claim to be anti-authoritarian, anti-government. They cl they claim they this and that, and they bad motherfuckers. But they ain't going harder than us. You know what I'm saying? Right. To the, yeah, to them, rebellion is uh, like yeah, not paying their bills on time or something. I don't yeah, know. Right, right, right. They it grows old with them, and next thing you know, tomorrow they're a different. Person. Right, like most of them punk rock rockers. When they turn about 21, 22, it starts getting old. They get a fucking job. They conform. And then they end up being fucking total losers. Right. Where did y'all uh, get them uh, fringes? Uh, you got to you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get creative. Look at my fringes. I told you to get rid of them dreads. You ain't trying to hear that, huh? You, I'm telling you, look, when you come into the truth, the Lord is a strict man. He's strict. And he don't play, man, you know? He's real strict, man. And you know, do you like uh? <laughs> we gonna do it I'm like? A, um, I'm going back to this. Uh, they love your love that shit down in Paris Island. You know what Paris Island is? Marine Corps boot camp. They shave that shit right off. Um, yeah, check it out. Don't let me catch you sleeping. The, the Bible Matthew's described as when you come to this truth as a straight game. Yeah. It's a narrow path you follow, and it's difficult. Sometimes it's huge. You know, it's difficult. So you, let me read that. Yeah, and that's straight gate. That's see, that's the part problem with the truth, is people can't walk that tightrope. You know what I'm saying? We got we was like we walking on a tightrope. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why. That's why this. That's why most of these fools can't handle this shit. It's too too much for them. But like, you can't really think. You know what I'm saying? Huh? You can't really think this. Like, you can't just buy like materials, whatever. For what? For a garment? No, it's for like cleaning and stuff. No, you just gotta <laughs> cut it out your hair. Chop that shit off. That shit looks ridiculous. You ain't got shave your hair or whatever, man. Just kick that shit out, man. Let just, your hair grow about that long. Just get a, man. Get a normal you know? fucking haircut. Just, you know? So, so, so don't get uh, sequins. You know sequins, right? Sequins. Like uh, braids or something like that. You can get braids, but not. you can't have it locked up like that. You can't have it locked up. You can braid your hair all you want. Yeah. You can braid your hair, yeah, but you can't. Like I said, them dreads, man. That's that's what they are, dreads. Dread. When you look at it, though, I dread. mean, the word dread. Let's look up the word dread. You shouldn't even care about. Oh yeah, dread. Oh, that is a vain thing. Dread that's means. Oh uh, yeah, dread. Dread. Very dreadful. Just get rid of them, man. I'll take you home and cut this shit out myself. I got a pair of clippers, <laughs> boy. They nice and oiled up. We show you love, telling you this. I know. We cause you go to them niggas that uh. That's dressed like um, um, uh, like they're in a, um, a soul R and B group with the matching, <laughs> with the matching yeah. garments on. See, they wouldn't give a shit because yeah. they don't give a fuck about you. Yeah. So they gonna lie to you, deceive you. So they gonna let you come on, brother. Plus, I mean, come that's because all they care about is appearances. Right, right. Like, I fucking like. I'm glad I can't even grow no fucking hair. <laughs> that's just one less thing for me to worry about. Right, right. I don't give a fuck about my appearances. Trying to look nice or have no kind of style. That's right. You see, you gotta turn it. You, we, you, you in the truth. You learn the truth. You, you learn that you hate this world. Yeah. So you, you know, you start to, you know, reject part. I mean, you find out when you come to the truth, man. You find out you a loner, man. You, yeah. You know, you gonna. It's so, like a, that's a soldier. Soldiers alone. It's a lonely. It's a lonely road. Lonely. <laughs> it's a lonely. What's that? Uh. One is the loneliest number. Oh, I'm, I'm retarded as hell. <laughs> I am retarded as hell. I'll be thinking of scriptures, be thinking of 10 other ones too. Yeah, that'd be messing me up too. Um, oh, here we go, here we go. See, like I said about the Lord, man, because uh, this is Luke um, 19 and 21. For I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. See, the Lord will cuss you, man. You don't want to get cussed out by the Lord, man. You know, really, that's what we out here for. We're, we're the mouthpiece of the Lord, you know? So, you know, hey, we're telling you, get rid of them. Just get rid of them, man. Because you know what the word austere means. Yeah, you're going to fuck around and catch lice. Yes. 
money. Fuck money. You, you say you spend money on your hair. You should not be a man. Should not be spending money on his hair. Yeah, that's a vain thing. My mom used to do it, but then when I get dressed. see, that's just these women. They teach you to be feminine. This, women, you know? Like this bitch, try like we got this new thing called a metrosexual. A man spending all of his money on uh, mm -hmm. fragrances and mm -hmm. smell goods and uh, getting pedicures and manicures and oh, all that my, shit. Man, keep get the camera on me. <laughs> I was a perfect example of a motherfucker that that was lost. He's a metrosexual. Oh, so look at me now, man. What the fuck is this shit right here? But I'm, I'm not shaving it though. You know what I'm saying? I can shave my shit and make it look pretty and edge my shit up if I want I, and look pretty, but I ain't of this world no more, man. And why would I want to do that for? These impress these nasty bitches? Yeah, look at me. I look like a crazy motherfucker. Impress these nasty ass pork eating women? Yeah. The bitch, I say bitches don't give a fuck what you look like. Don't give a damn. Don't give a goddamn. You can just shit on yourself, she'll still fuck you. As long as you got some money, yeah, shit. Right. You get buy that bitch a cheeseburger. You can just sit on yourself and that bitch is still blowing your rock. Smelling like the world just ended, that bitch is still blowing. I seen a finest hose with the ugliest dudes. Yeah, yeah. It I never fell. I saw some creepy little ass Edomites with some fine black bitches. Yep. Fine sisters. <laughs> so they ain't got shit Go to do. Go to the arena district. And just walk around, man. Especially on Friday night, Saturday night, you'll see a whole lot of our sisters with Edomites walking hand, yep. holding hands and shit. Well, oh, they got that money. Mm -hmm. Got that money. <laughs> got that money. And they don't realize these Edomites don't give a fuck about them. They just trophies. Yeah, because so ain't, ain't no woman going to get with you based on your looks. Unless you're a bodybuilder. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> hey, hey, if you want to do something, go lift some weights. you trying to impress the ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, this, is, um, this is Matthew 7 and 12. Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate. The straight gate. That means no fucking around, no bullshitting. You got to be for real, man. This ain't no guessing game. You can't be on the fence. Right. You got to be, you got to be, you got to be in it to win it for real, yeah. man. And you mean by that, by hurt you, you struggling, you're trying to play both sides. Yeah, you can't. The world and the truth. They know. It don't work out. They don't, they don't, um, they're not compatible and they don't work out. And you'll find that the lowest high would actually, if you're trying to straddle the world and the truth, he's going to actually come against you. You're going to feel it too. He'll come against you. He'll take all that knowledge from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, have you walking down and start sacking your pants for your pants? Have you that? bugged out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He'll have you get shot by the cops, like your boy down in uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ferguson. You see, that's what's going on there, don't you? Oh, yeah. Down in Missouri. That's going to escalate. Just like the Trayvon Martin, this shit. And you know, they killed what? another nigga like a couple days after that well, in Missouri. Because I know Esau was mad that that Trayvon thing fizzled out. Because mm -hmm. he, yeah, he yeah. was hoping that yeah. was going to build up. Yeah. The, they, the, the elite want these riots to happen. Yeah. Huh? You're the ones that says we, we do too. That's right. Why do you think they sending Jesse Jackass Jackson down there and uh, Al Sharpton? Al, Al, Al Sharpton, you know Al Sharpton, you know he was an actual North at one time. I brought that out, he, when we first started coming, coming out, I brought that out. How he was a narc. He used to sell drugs back in the day. He saw, I knew he, about this in the he night. saw heroin. Mm -hmm, He's yeah. down with the what? The uh, the uh, the crime, the Italian family. He snitched on yep, Italians. Yep, yep. He probably was working with a lot of that. So shit. you know what? You know what? I, I, this is what my theory was. The motherfucking the so-called Jew is behind Al Sharpton, yeah, cool. and the so-called Jew had a serious fucking problem with the Italian crime families because they was cutting in on their fucking business. Yeah, right. So you know the Jews took. You know how that there ain't yeah. there ain't no big time crime families. Uh, that are Italian no more hardly. When they are, but not like the so-called Jews. Like the so-called Jews, the top gangster, bro. The top murderer, the top thief. Look at these weirdos everywhere you look. You know who Bugsy Siegel is? You never heard of Bugsy Siegel? Oh, he's a so-called Jew. You didn't know that? You never heard. You never seen the movie Bugsy? Oh. Them Jews probably took Robert Williams out just to call some oh, yeah. a distraction. Oh, a distraction or the, they had, had triple fold purposes. Yeah, right. They was going to kill his ass anyway, <laughs> but they had to wait till the perfect time to kill his perfect ass. Because yeah, yeah. what they do in Hollywood, a lot of these actors, they kill them so they can take their money. Like they do, uh, cousin, uh, Ed, uh, 
What's your boy up National Lampoons? Cousin Eddie? Same crazy dude that was an Independence Day. Yeah. yeah right. uh, Randy Quaid. Right. right. Did it, well, get, right. YouTube, there's videos on YouTube of Randy Quaid saying that they was trying to kill him just so they could take all of his money. Mm -hmm. He said they're trying to kill me just like they killed my friend, uh, the guy that played the Joker. What's his name? Right, right, right. Uh, that broke back, Joker, broke back Joker. Mountain. Yeah. Uh, Heath Ledger. Right. He said they killed Heath Ledger just to take his money. The Jews, did, the so-called Jew, did that. They man, they ain't killing people just because you you uh, expose somebody. Ain't none of them uh, actors exposing shit. <laughs> and people try to say Illuminati killed Michael Jackson. <laughs> God damn it, Michael Jackson killed his goddamn self. <laughs> Look at him; he chopped his fucking nose off. <laughs> That's right. He really did. He's like, no more nigga knows for me. Ta -ta! Yeah, he felt like shit after he did all that shit. Yeah. And he was he went into a depression. You look in the mirror after all that shit, he all those surgery, his chin, nose, cheekbones, eyelashes, hair. Yeah. But you can tell like uh what's your boy's name, Robin Williams? He didn't kill his goddamn self. Mm -hmm. You got all plus you see there's a Family Guy episode that came out before. That. Did you see it? Yeah, I, saw, I didn't see it, but I saw it after. And then there's the Family Guy episode. I, mean, I never clicked on the video to watch it anyway. Well, I just seen a. Uh, uh, I read the I read the, the caption whatever. Who did I see posted? I seen somebody posted. Was it a? Uh, I think it was on the Alex Jones channel. One of them Alex Jones motherfuckers mm -hmm. posted a video. I think it was a Paul Joseph Watson. I think but, yeah. these rats want you to know what they're doing because they're bold like that, you know. Yeah, they do that. So they they said they's gonna kill kill Robin Williams before they even killed his ass. That's and crazy. It, and he probably he probably uh, had no idea. He thought he was just making some funny jokes on Family Guy. And, mm -hmm. He's a bit Robin Williams is a big weirdo though. So that's what he gets. Big hairy bastard. He, you know who Robin Williams is, don't you? Yeah, I know. You don't know who Robin, man, you don't know nothing. <laughs> he young, though. He yeah, young. I know. He had a dude generation. Yeah, young as hell. Oh, yeah. So that's before his time, actually. <laughs> Robin Williams was one of the most famous actors of our generation. He's a comedian, yeah. Yeah, comedian, yeah, actor. A whole lot of shit. Whole Mork and Mindy, uh, yeah. all that shit. What's up, man? He was a normal bug down, man. What the fuck is on him, bro? he got some shit all over him. Oh, hold on, I might have cut this camera off. No, I got...